Okay, so I wanted to give a possible theory for the apparent sacrifice of Steve Jobs. So I just looked into the death and the numbers of his death, and he died at age 56. And obviously we know a lot about, if you're familiar with my page, we look into the numbers. We know a lot about the number 56 from other YouTube channels who cover the gematria and the hidden coding of the hidden numerical coding in sacrifices. So I looked at the date of his death and there was a whole bunch of sacrifice numbers and the death date. So I said, well, clearly they're telling us that he was sacrificed because of the date numerology of his death. He, uh, he died on a date with uh, 46, 19, 10, and 55 numerology. So those are big sacrifice numbers. And there's Satan numbers as well. He was born in San Francisco where they say Uh, the synagogue of Satan was created so I think it's interesting that he was born in this technological hub and then he goes on to be a technological guru so it would easily say that he was one of those born and bred to be um, because I was basically saying that there's people all over the world who want to be part of the tech industry, and actually, I did, I did, uh, I did work on the that tech area before, and basically, what they were saying it was like it's it's super competitive because most people come from other countries to that area, and so what are the odds that he's born in this tech hub of um, San Francisco area, and then he goes to be the tech guru in the area so to me it would say everything that it was all planned out by the military the society of jesus the scottish rite of freemasonry it was all planned by them for him to be who he be who he grew to be which is as we all know steve jobs and apple so i don't know a lot about steve jobs but i just know he's the face of apple so he died at age 56 and it was a big mind control number and society of Jesus equals 56 so anyways there, there's there's more to the numbers but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cover that part of it but he died at a so sacrifice is 46 he died on a day with 46 date numerology I don't want to make this about the numbers but I'm just going to show some numbers real quick. So he died on a date numerology of 55 and 10. And um, Satan equals 55 and 10. So notice this logo over here. It's it's a perfect logo because or this image because it has the Society of Jesus' Eclipse logo. Because we have the Eclipse referencing of the sun and the moon with the Apple logo. That's the Eclipse referencing. If you don't know about it, then don't say I'm making a conspiracy up because that's what that, that is. But more importantly, the Apple logo is the is represents the deal with Satan or the Faustian bargain, right? One more thing. So the Society of Jesus is 143. Their logo is the Eclipse logo. So Faustian Bargain, 143. The Scottish Rite of Freemasonry is 143. So there's all these connections, right, that you could find if you want to look into it yourself. So Society of Jesus, 56 and 143. There's a Society of Jesus logo here. The apple is the Faustian Bargain symbology. It represents the deal with the devil. And then for your biblical understanding, 
because we should all have a basic understanding of the Bible because that's what they teach us in this country is the Garden of Eden referencing, right? Where Adam and Eve, the devil comes down, offers them an apple, and he, or he says, if you eat from this tree, you, know, or lo you are no longer eternal, but become mortal, so they eat the apple. So there's the symbology there. But what all, that so also on your Apple device, that symbology represents you eating you and me eating from the Garden of Eden because you have the access to the internet 666, which is the referencing to the to the to like the infinite knowledge, right? He died on a date with eight numerology as well. And the a is the infinite logo. So you have this infinite um, amount of knowledge at your hands, right? So you're, it's your referencing to you as mortal and the whole Satan referencing. Again, he was born in San Francisco, which is said to be where the synagogue of Satan was created. The Society of Jesus also uses that eight-pointed star as their logo, the Star of Istar. So what I was saying is that he's the... So the possi possible theory of his sacrifice is because of what he represents versus someone like Bill Gates and his corporation. Because... If you have an Apple and if you have a Windows operate, um, computer system or a laptop, there's no competition between the quality, quality of an Apple and a Windows device. I have an Apple cell phone. I have a Mac computer or a laptop. And I've had my laptop for 10 years or 8 years and I've had my cell phone for 8 years. Whatever, some somewhere in that range. Whereas any time I have ever owned a Windows device, it lasts me two years and then it takes a shit. And it's all their products. So I was saying that that's how messed up this world is that what Steve Jobs represents is giving you one good quality product to where you don't have to spend. Yeah, you spend more money up front, but it's far worth it in the long run. And you, you're able to save money and you're able to... My laptop has been my best investment by far. And I never thought... At the time, I think I spent like twelve or $1,300 on it. And I was like, man, that's a lot of money for a laptop. But at this point, it's like this is the best thing I've ever invested in. So... I just think it's it's... It's always uh, it's always interesting to see that these evil characters like Bill Gates and George Bush Sr. and Henry Kissinger and those type of people, they live for these extremely long times, but then you get these guys like Steve Jobs who, I mean, dies at 56. That's per that's That seems far too young, right? But it's probably because he rep what he represented got in the way of their greed. It's like, they want it. They seen all that money in this corporation, and he was. Is it his corporation or just someone else on it? I don't even know. Is he the founder? I don't even know. I think he's the founder of Apple. Who is. What's his name? Steve Jobs? Is he alive? Is he is he in a cave somewhere, or is he in a, a underground city? Right? What, what is he really dead? Was he sacrificed? Probably was sacrificed. Is he a fucking Jesuit priest? Oh, look at that photo. <laughs> Looks like a Jesuit, uh, Scottish Jesuit fucking mugshot. A uh, Scottish Jesuit pedophile. That's what he looks like right there. <laughs> In that photo they drew of him. He was an American entrepreneur. 
He was the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Apple. Okay. Oh wow! The so he look. He's with Pixar. He has that connection. Uh, oh wow! He mean he possibly could have faked his death, right? If he's if he's involved with Disney too, I didn't know he was involved with with them. So my possible theory, and it may just destroy my theory because <laughs> I didn't see this earlier, but it's like he could have possibly been, he gone against what they, what they, what their wishes are, right? They're like, we want to make a lot of money. It's like, well, I'm not going to ruin my brand just so you could fucking come out with a new laptop every two years. Like you shouldn't force people to buy a new laptop every two years. Like if they decide to buy a new cell phone or a laptop every two years, cool, that's on them. But I'm not going to degrade my product. So that, that could have been a big possibility of why they got rid of him. Especially if he's involved with Disney. Because I, I seen a little thing on... I seen a video on someone talking about Disney. They're like, oh, we hate Disney because they worked for Disney. But they said Disney wants any every product for as cheap as possible. Um... But they want it to be a certain standard and it's just like basically it's like well you're gonna like everything's cutting cutting corners on the on what they spend. So basically they're just saying Disney's some cheap motherfuckers who are just unreasonable. So it's interesting he was a member of the board of directors, right? So yeah, I see several different reasons why they would get rid of him, or there's the possibility that he may have just faked his death. I don't know. Um, I don't know enough about him. He's the, he is widely recognized as the pioneer of the personal computer revolution. So I was saying before, I was like, there's another guy who created the... Uh, so that, isn't it coincident or isn't it convenient that these evil characters just live forever, but these other guys who appear to be doing positive things, they die far too young, right? It's too too much of a trend to be coincidental. It's it's just happened. It happens far too often. Um, so this guy has a similar. similar uh legacy of uh and this guy could be this could be fake too that's the thing is this could not even be a real person that's the weird shit because look at the symbology of this they has the pirate ship which is your skull and bones referencing there's your train set but um, but then there, here's a look at like, I think this is interesting. He has the, the witch referencing, uh, with the cat, the little Lego, look how they choose that logo of the, the witch hat, like the sorcerer, right? But you know, they put the white cat with him, which is interesting. Cause it, to me, that's like, is that a symbology of good? So anyways, this guy apparently died, I think, in a plane crash. But he goes against eBay as he's on his Apple computer. No, he goes against eBay and uh, I think allegedly he died in a plane crash. But I was also like, there's a possibility that this isn't even a person and they're just using this to fucking tug on your heartstring. So he goes against eBay and uh, allegedly perishes and then uh, this guy... Steve Jobs goes against Microsoft and he allegedly perishes, right? So, uh, too much shit go, too much, uh, weird shit going on and people dying too young. <clears throat> Especially when it comes to these, uh, big money corporations and stuff, right? So, the last thing I, I want to point out is I was look as, I look at the photo, I'm like, you know, he's wearing a pair of Levi jeans 
And I thought that was pretty telling of someone who's a running a multi-billion dollar corporation. I'm like, you would wear a $40 pair of jeans that look used, that look like he bought them, that he wears them all the time. It just, to me, it tells me what type of person he probably is. He's, he's, and he's, he's opposite of Bill Gates, right? Guy in a suit and tie, right? We have this guy in a plain shirt and a, and a pair of $40 Levi jeans, right? Fucking guy, I can't stand this guy's fucking products already. I'm sick of dealing with them. And you know what's crazy about, um, what I don't understand is like they make all and not even just his products like if you're intelligent you know when a product is set up to to fail or or to make you spend more money like why would they treat people like that it's like okay I'm somebody who doesn't spend a lot and your goal is to make me spend as much as I can or you can I think that's silly because with the the Apple, I'll always buy Apple products when I need them because of how good they've been to me. But like, I'm at a point with uh, Microsoft to where I fucking hate these fucking people and their everything they give us. So I'm like, when I um, I'm not gonna run out and buy anything Microsoft ever again. So they may have milked me for a couple, one or two thousand dollars, but I'll end up spending twenty thousand dollars with Apple over my lifetime because of how good their equipment has been to me, right? Not if it takes a shit though. Hopefully they don't start crashing the fucking uh, crashing their fucking product because uh, the greed. I was saying, uh, they're not happy with. With one yacht, they need fucking <clears throat> several yachts, right? And that's where them, Steve Jobs and them differed. I wonder how long was he on the, uh, how long was he on the member of the Walt Disney Company? Maybe they're the ones who got rid of his ass. Yeah, I just think that's pretty coincidental. He, he, uh, See what what's his He's Arabic, huh? He's born in San Francisco and he becomes a tech guru, right? Just cuz you're in that area doesn't mean you're going to fucking people all over the world, that's highly competitive. Sounds too perfect. See if I can see something about Disney real quick. There must have been a falling out, right? So you motherfuckers are sorry you dead fucking four years later. So he funded... Oh, wow. So look at that. He's... So again, and. Uh, I was saying too, I go, you know, they have several reasons and when you have when when you have such success like he funded Pixar. So there's a reason to kill him because they want Pixar from him. He's the co founder of Apple. Well they want they want his shares right in the company. They want his portion of the company. There's two big reasons why they would get rid of this guy. Fifty six? Come on now, that's fucking all that all that money you don't you don't have enough money to to uh to get get some the proper care for yourself I don't know about that I mean like come on they t cars the incredibles finding Nemo toy story like those were so popular, right? So in 2004, the contract was running out. 
So they tried to negotiate a new partnership, so clearly Disney didn't want to pay up, right? Oh, see, there it is. I told you, there's the fucking falling out. You never deal with Disney again. Look at that thing. They bought $7.4 billion, huh? There's your... Uh... Shit, you may see George Lucas fucking biting the dust here soon. That's the George Lucas type deal. Where they purchased the company and then it's not... Like, the Star Wars has been a bomb and under Disney, and then obviously Pixar has probably been a, was a bomb under Disney, right? Is it is it the person who sold you's fault or the person who bought it? It may be the person who bought it, right? They have, they have the rights to the Star Wars and to uh, Pixar, and uh, if they can't make a good film... I don't think that's on the person who sold it to you, but they're they obviously uh they may have went after the Jobs guy. So Jobs became the Walt Disney Company's largest single shareholder with approximately seven percent of the company's stock. So he's he uh, he owned way more of the company than anybody else. That's surprising. I've never I've never heard that. You know that's maybe why they keep those sort of things hush hush, right? So especially that he soured Disney's relationship with Pixar. I'm sorry. I'm reading this to myself because you guys could read it. You guys. I don't I hate when I hear people reading the whole thing out loud. Upon Jobs' death, his shares in Disney were transferred to his trust. So after Jobs' death, Iger, who's that Bob Iger? Okay, that's the the guy, the, uh, whoever that guy is who's in charge. Iger recalled in 2019 that many warned him about jobs, that he would bully me and everyone else. Oh, that sounds like a guy who's just bullshitting, right? Oh, he's just going to go in and bully everybody. He's a big bully. Well, you didn't have to deal with him. He said he, that's a bullshit lie because... He our jobs already said that he wouldn't work with Disney again. This guy Iger basically reapproached him for a deal. So he already turned and walked away. So at that point, right? How does that make jobs a bully? You either wanna okay, you're gonna you choose you chose to work with him. He didn't even he wasn't he didn't even want to work with them anymore. as far as at least what he said. He's going to bully me and everyone else. You didn't have to work with him, dude. He already he already walked away. We wouldn't want job, jobs to have influence over how a company... Or who wouldn't want jobs to have influence over how a company is run? And... He rarely... So a board member said he rarely created trouble for me. Not... But rarely, What? He speculated that he would have serious. Oh God, that this is a bullshit paragraph. I'm right, I'm right here. This paragraph is bullet. This whole paragraph is bullshit. This is uh this is a. Uh, this is to sway public opinion, right? There's your. This is your deception right here. So, Floyd Norman of Pix 
Pixar described Jobs as a mature, mallow individual who never interfered with the creative process of the filmmakers. So Jobs explained him to just ex Jobs advised him to just explain it to them until they understand. So that sounds pretty intelligent, right? Just explain it until the person understands. It sounds like the way he looks, a mature, mallow individual, uh, highly uh, intelligent response, right? Just explain to the person until they understand. It's kind of like what I do to you guys, right? That's what I don't get, why more people aren't here, because it's like, this is understandable. I'm making it understandable. Okay, anyways. So look at so he died on a date with 26 numerology who is this who's this who's this cap mall who's cap who's cap mall I don't see that name oh, okay in early 2014 Pixar co-founder and Walt Disney president Ed Catmull. Okay, so it's the Walt Disney president. So there's the sacrifice tying to Walt Disney right there. So this is the Walt Disney guy talking. So he died on a date with 26 numerology. So again, there's a big reason why they probably killed him. In the 26 years with Steve... Steve and I never had one of these loud verbal arguments. And it's not my nature to do that. But we did disagree fairly frequently about things. I would say something to him and he would immediately shoot it down because he could think faster than I could. I would then wait a week. I'd call him up and I'd give him my counter argument to what he had said. And he'd immediately shoot it down again. So I had to wait another week. And occasionally this went on for months. But ultimately one of three things would happen. About a third of the time he said, oh, I get it. You're right. And that was the end of it. And it was another third of the time in which I'd say, actually, I think he is right. The other, the other third of the time, there's your 33, right? Mind control, 33... The other third of the time we didn't reach consent or cons consensus he just let me do it my way never said anything more about it huh that's weird I wonder why you know what's weird about this this little part of the some of that like some of the shit they put in Wikipedia is like why 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 what is there there's something hidden there that that they're saying right Well, they're saying, so here they're talking about 26, died on 26 numerology for the greater glory of God, right? All the God numbers in his death date. There's your Society of Jesus referencing your Scottish Rite of Free Mas uh, Masonry or referencing. And then he had the 87 in his death date. But then you're, there's your 33, so Walt Disney has the Club 33, and then they, they mention this because it's one-third, one-third, one-third. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, though. Why why they do that? Is he dead? Is he alive? You never know. 